Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Random Vlogging. So, uh, today, uh, this is the third time I've recorded this video. Every time, um, I've recorded it, it has turned into this, like, 30-minute long rant that becomes incomprehensible. So I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, but be forewarned, this is going to be relatively long. Um... I want to talk to you about the phrase leaving money on the table because um, that is is what is happening right now to Geek and Sundry, specifically um, Alpha. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Alpha is their new subscription-based service. Technically, it's not just Geek and Sundry. Uh, it's Legendary Digital Entertainment, which is a combination of Geek and Sundry and uh, Nerdist. Um, and, uh, I think Amy, P uh, Poehler's smart girls is somewhere in there as well, but they, they're not involved in this. So, um, um, alpha is a new subscription based service to watch, um, live video, kind of like Twitch, but very, very different. Uh, the idea behind it that they keep telling us over and over again is alpha is designed to be this ultra inclusive community focused, uh, uh, venture, um, that's just, uh, that's, uh, supposed to, um, create new ways to, to bring people together and just, you know, it's supposed to be very community focused. That is a load of bollocks. Um, and I will get into it why, but first I want to talk about the phrase leaving money on the table. Um, leaving money on the table is a very common term to hear in sales in general. My first uh, introduction to it was when I was running sales uh, for a multi-million dollar store. Um, uh, I was introduced to it uh, with the fact that, um, <laughs> those of you who don't know, Everything in a retail store has a price uh, has a price on it. And for those of you going, well, duh, you know, they have the little price tag there. It's not what I'm talking about. What I'm actually talking about is um, every person that walks into the store has a price on them. Um, every bag at every register, every associate that uh, works in the store, um, uh, every piece of equipment, uh, every square inch of floor space has a price attributed to it uh by, and uh to give you a perfect example of that let's talk about shopping carts um every shopping cart has a price associated with it i'm not talking about the cost to replace them which by the way shopping carts are ungodly expensive the reason why so many shopping carts at so many places are like broken and busted and just horrible is because they cost hundreds of dollars to replace um it's crazy um but that's not what i'm talking about what I'm talking about is, to use easy numbers, uh, there have been studies uh, paid for by, by huge, huge companies. Every company um, that has uh, any brain at all uh, that runs a brick-and-mortar retail store uh, will run studies about what makes customers shop more in their stores. And one of the things that every single company will do uh, is find out how much a shopping cart is worth. They've done studies and they sh uh, they've shown that someone walking around a store with a shopping cart will spend more money than someone walking around the store with uh, one of those little hand baskets. And someone walking around the store with one of those little hand baskets will spend more money in the store than someone walking around with none of that. So each shopping cart has a price attributed to it. To use easy numbers, uh, let's just say that um, at the store I used to work, a shopping cart was worth $30. That meant that a customer walking around with a shopping cart on average spent $30 more than a customer walking around without a shopping cart. So if my district manager came by and I had shopping carts in uh, the parking lot instead of in the cart corral where customers could use them, he would walk into my store and he would find me and go, hey, Jody... Why are you leaving $120 on the table? What he meant by that is there's four shopping carts in uh, the parking lot. And those four shopping carts, if they were in the hands of customers, would give me $120 more than they're making for me right now by sitting in the parking lot. He could also walk around the store and see customers that were walking around with their shopping carts. And he'd come up to me and he would say, Jody, why are you leaving $90 on the table? Because there are three customers walking around my store without shopping carts. And that meant if I'd given them shopping carts, I could have $90 more. 
Leaving money on the table is the idea that if you do something, people will give you more money. It is the greatest sin in business to leave money on the table because that means that the only reason you don't have more money that you're not making more profit is either you are too stupid to know what it is that makes money in your store, business, whatever, or you're too lazy to do what it takes to make the money. That is what Alpha is. They have a dedicated customer base, but the customer base itself, they could make more money off of us. Right now, the people that uh, give the most money regularly um, directly to them, other than donations and things like that, because that they can't really control, um, is uh, the Twitch subscription, which is $5 a month. There have been many, many people who have said, you know, $5 a month to support Geek and Sundry is a steal. I want to support Geek and Sundry more. So they'll buy merchandise, they'll do, they'll do all these other things, they'll tweet about the show, stuff like that. They want to support it. So... Someone at Legendary, not at Geek and Sundry, I do not want people to think that this is specifically tailored to the staff of the Twitch channel because it's not their fault. Uh, This is not directed toward Felicia Day because despite the fact that she hasn't really made a statement about this or anything, I've got a relatively good inkling that this was not her decision either. Uh, I have nothing to support that other than my own intuition, but that's what I think. Uh, This is directed directly at Legendary. They saw a chance to make more money. They were leaving money on the table, and now they're not. That's what Alpha is. It's them fixing the worst sin a businessman can make, which is leaving money on the table. They can get more money out of us, so they should. And that goes against everything. Everything Geek and Sundry was founded under, and I despise it. I think it is a horrendous, horrible thing. And again, this is directed at Legendary. I am not trying to say that the Twist Shots have anything to do with this. I'm not trying to say that Felicia Day has anything to do with this, or Raiko, um, who's unfortunately no longer with it, um, or anyone else that's directly involved in Geek and Sundry. From everything that I can see and all the kind of reading between the lines I've been able to do, they do not want this. To me, it is blatantly obvious. Again, this is based on intuition uh, and my own experiences in business because I've had to be the person that corporate, the you know, nameless figures that actually pull the strings of the company has told you to do something monumentally stupid. And you have to sit there when the customers come up to you and bitch at you and say, no, 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 you're overreacting. I support this decision 100%, and we're going to make sure that you know this decision is designed to help you, the customer. That's why we made this. I've done this spin before. I'm actually really good at it. Um, I used to be the one, uh, when the bad decisions came to the store, the store manager would call me in and go, Jody, <laughs> you want to see something really stupid? Look at this. And I go, <laughs> yeah, it is really stupid. He's like, great. Now you have to go sell it to the customers because it's already happened. I'm like, hey, shit. Uh, that's what I used to do. I used to spin things uh, at the store level to get customers happy with it and to get associates happy with it. And I was relatively good at it. Um, that's what all this was. The video that they released today talking about community and all that stuff, those are buzzwords. They're specifically designed to target a very specific demographic and make people feel all special and fuzzy. It's a lie. This has nothing to do with community. This has nothing to do with um, creating better ways to interact. This has everything to do with making them more money. You want to know how I know that? Because the Twitch channel is a fantastic place for them to interact with their community better. Um, You want to know how I know that? Because I know for a fact creating barriers to entry limits interactivity. It does not help it flourish. And paywalls and things like that are barriers to entry. How do I know this? Because I've seen it happen. I've uh, I've been at stores where I organize Dungeons & Dragons programs where they've started charging people to play instead of letting them just come in and play. And it kills the program. Um, I've seen it happen where previous things that were just services that were offered for very cheaper 
or or nothing at all uh, have been monetized and turned into things uh, that people are forced to pay for, and it kills off the service every single time. This is a mistake that big business makes over and over again because the only thing that they are worrying about is leaving money on the table. Um, I want to read something to you guys because it's super it's it's beautifully written and it's, this was actually posted back in August um, by um, Zuffy uh, who's a moderator for the Geek and Sundry forums uh, he shows up on Twitter uh, uh, as well uh, he is one of the OG Geek and Sundry fans he predates Team Human um, he was with Geek and Sundry when it was just a baby. He was with uh, the forums uh, when uh, before they exploded and became one of the nicest places on the Internet. Um, he's a great, great guy. Uh, he wrote this. To possibly add some perspective, here's the original about blurb. We're talking about how Geek and Sundry has changed and become much more monetized and much more money focused compared to what it used to be. And this uh, uh, this was the original about blurb. When Geek and Sundry and the website and everything first launched, when you clicked on about, this is what it originally said. What is Geek and Sundry? We are an internet community centered around web videos and shows about comics, games, books, hobbies, and mores. more. Blah, blah. We want our audience to connect with each other through common interests online and in real life. Geek and Sundry presents the best in internet television and online's foremost geek voices. Founded by the producers of the hit web series The Guild, Geek and Sundry offers a diverse lineup of shows that create a hub for fans of community gaming, comics, music, and literature around the world. Spearheaded by prominent geek figureheads, the network features original content by Felicia Day, uh, The Guild, Dr. Horrible Eureka, and Will Wheaton, Star Trek The Big Bang Theory. That's what the original blurb was. Then it eventually changed. They, uh, they kind of rebranded a little bit and they changed it to this. Geek and Sundry is a hub for the geek community that celebrates individuals and fuels their connection both online and in real life. Founded by actor, writer, producer Felicia Day, the Guild Dr. Horrible Eureka Supernatural, this multi-platform media outlet that has built a community of geek, voice, uh, geek voices to share their love of everything and everything. That's what it changed to. And you notice there's not as so much about interactivity. Like the first one, they have this big mission statement. We want our audience to connect with each other through common interests online and in real life. That is the focus of it. They're like, no, we, we want people to get together. We want to build a community. That's what Geek and Sundry was. The new change... It's now a hub for geek community that celebrates individuals and fuels their connections both online and real life. That's no longer their purpose. That's just kind of what happens. It's a hub where people can connect. That's not the purpose of Geek and Sundry. That's just kind of what it does. That's no longer their focus. Now we get to what it is today. Felicia Day's Geek and Sundry is the epicenter of gaming and lifestyle for pop culture fans with an independent spirit, bringing together people from all over the world who love things in counterculture. Home to the highly acclaimed Tabletop with Will Wheaton, the all-star voice actors that bring the Dungeons and that bring Dungeons and Dragons to life in Critical Role, and the award-winning scripted series LARPs, Geek and Sundry gives a voice to those who dare to love the unconventional. Seen during the newly minted International Tabletop Day, celebrated every year on all seven continents. There's nothing about bringing people together. There's nothing about. Um, I mean, the entirety of that article is, is buzzwords. Um, and that's what Geek and Sundry has turned into. And Alpha is the epitome of this. Um, this is what we feared when Legendary purchased and this uh, purchased it. And this is something that Felicia Day specifically spoke out against. She said when they first got purchased by Legendary Entertainment almost uh, over two years ago now, she goes, guys, this isn't going to change Geek and Sundry. I'm paraphrasing here. Um, I haven't been able to find uh, the specific announcement because it's years ago. It's hard to find. Um, but um, I remember her saying things like, it's not going to change. I still have control over this. You know, the legendary guys um, are really, really great. They, um, uh, they've let uh, Chris Hardwick, you know, run his channel the way that he wants to. And that's what's going to happen here. And it's not what's happened. Um, Deacon Sundry is not what it was founded on. It has gone against the very principles of... Uh, of what it was. He actually links to a video that Felicia Day did uh, at the beginning of season two of Geek and Sundry 
like everything. Geek and Sundry was alive for a year, and then uh, they weren't sure if they're going to come back for another year. They did. She made this beautiful uh, two and a half minute thing talking about um, how she didn't like the fact that the word geek was was just uh, it was a marketing term. It was a a group of people that were uh, designed to be advertised to and monetized, uh, and uh, are supposed to. Um, uh, contribute to the world by buying things. You know, that's the, the epitome of capitalism is your entire purpose in life is to buy things, to stimulate the economy so that people can make money, so that they can pay you money, so that you can buy more things. And, and that's how capitalism works. And that's what Geek and Sundry has become. Um, and like I said, Alpha is the, uh, the epitome of this. And I hate it. I think it's absolutely horrendous. And it's going to conti- continue doing that. As long as we allow it. Now, one of the interesting things about the fact that um, I mentioned earlier, everything has a price tag in a store. Everything has a, a number, including every customer that walks into the store. Every one of them has a dollar sign next to them with an amount next to them. That number is how much the average customer spends, and that's how much that customer is worth to the store. That's one of the reasons why customers can get away with so many things and um, because they have a dollar amount attributed to them. And they also know that if you piss off a customer, they are going, um, the average person will tell three people about a good experience, but 10 people about a bad experience. So if you piss off a customer, they're going to leave and that dollar sign is going to get multiplied by 10. And that's how it works. We, every one of the people that subs on the Twitch channel, every one of the people that watches Critical Role every week, every one of the people that goes to the Geek and Sundry website and reads articles, everybody has a dollar sign we all do there's somebody in uh, the sales and marketing department uh, over at legendary that knows exactly how much each one of us is worth and right now as long as we continue to do what they want us to do as long as we buy into alpha as long as we keep um visiting the website and 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 we keep supporting uh legendary through geek and sundry Uh, We're doing exactly what they want, and we're giving them exactly what they want. Um, I generally am not a person to say things like this. Generally, I'm the one that's going to sit back and go, you know, make your own decisions. This is my opinion. I'm not going to say that today. This is what I'm going to say. Alpha is bad for Geek and Sundry. It's good for Legendary because it makes the uh, shareholders more money, and that is the entire purpose behind it. However, for those of you that support the Twitch channel, we've already seen that Alpha not only has caused shows to get canceled because they don't want to compete with themselves, um, but um, it uh, has damaged the Twitch channel itself because now it is in uh, a position where less and less people can watch it, which means less revenue uh, for the channel itself. It means less viewership, less interaction with the audience. There isn't a good thing about the Twitch channel programming getting pushed back. There isn't. It's done specifically because they want Alpha to succeed, because Alpha has the highest profit margin. Alpha is what makes them the most money. That's what they want. They are looking for money. So my recommendation is I urge you all, please do not subscribe to Alpha. I understand that they're going to hold Tabletop hostage They think that's enough for us to go, you know what? I care enough about tabletop. Don't. Subscribing to Alpha is not going to help the Twitch channel. Subscribing to Alpha is not going to help Geek and Sundry. It's going to line Legendary's pockets. That's all. We've already seen if tabletop doesn't get money from someone in corporate, we will fund it ourselves. We've already seen that uh, if the Twitch channel needs something... We will provide it for them because the Twitch channel and Geek and Sundry at its core is not a money-making endeavor. It is a community, and it has lost a lot of that recently. And the only way we get it back is for us to take it back. We are the reason that the Twitch channel exists. We are the reason that the Geek and Sundry website exists. We are the reason that Geek and Sundry exists. Now, I'm not saying that Felicia Day had nothing to do with it or Sherry Bryant or Kim Evie, which if you don't know those names, you need to look them up because Geek and Sundry wouldn't exist without them. And they're wonderful, amazing people who no longer are, associ- who no longer are associated with Geek and Sundry. Um, I'm not saying 
that they didn't create something amazing. Um, and I'm not saying that they didn't put tons of work into it to turn it into something vibrant and amazing. And I'm not saying that they didn't fuel and grow this amazing community that has done things like raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity, like has gotten people from around the world to play D&D together for two days uh, to raise money for children's hospitals uh, that uh, has done things to help muscle uh, muscle dystrophy and and to help people uh, help kids learn creative writing. All of that was because Felicia Day started and Sherry Bryant and Kim Evie started something amazing and put the effort in to grow it. But none of it would have happened without the community. We are Geek and Sundry. We really are. As much as none of us get paid by them, none of us get, um, uh, none of us, uh, get a say in anything that happens, the reason Geek and Sundry exists is because we support it with everything we have. And now we have a responsibility to tell Legendary Entertainment, you are wrong. You are breaking what it is that we have come to love simply in an effort to make money. And we're not going to stand for it anymore. We are Team Human. We are the Critters. Um, we are a million other names. Uh, the New Vlogger Army. Uh, the Geek and Sundry Vloggers. Um, fans of Geek and Sundry. Uh, the, the, the list goes on and on. Critical Reroll. Who Pod. You know, we are all of these groups of people that have come together to form a community, to love each other, to support each other. Uh, and because of that, we have given so much to help Geek and Sundry remain the wonderful, bright star on the internet that it is. And I firmly believe if Alpha succeeds in its current incarnation, that it's going to ruin that. So I ask everyone watching this video, please, 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 please do not subscribe to Alpha. Do not drop your Twitch subs. Do not stop watching the Twitch channel. Alpha will not help the Twitch channel. Alpha will not help anyone but Legendary. They're the ones that are going to make money off of Alpha. Yes, if Alpha goes belly up, there could be ramifications to Geek and Sundry as a whole. Legendary has invested a lot of money in it, and if it fails, they may do bad things to Geek and Sundry. They may cancel the Twitch channel. They may close Geek and Sundry completely because it's not making them money in the way that they want to. However, I personally think that an honorable death is better than um, a life lived in slavery which is what I see it is right now. We've already seen uh, the Twitch hosts talking about um, moving uh, popular shows that have been canceled to their own personal channels. Um, I'll make a pledge right now. If any of the Twitch hosts, any of the vloggers, anyone like that wants to start their own Twitch channel for this stuff so we don't have to deal with this bogus interference from Legendary, I will act as your producer. Um, I've done it for um, the All Free Geek Alliance for years. I have years of management experience, uh, and I'm finishing a degree in project management and marketing. Um, I 100% will produce for you. We'll make sure that your shows get off without a hitch. Um, uh, and uh, until whatever channel you start is self-sufficient, I'll do it for free. That is how passionate I am about this. And that's what I'm asking you guys for. Again, I'm not... I normally wouldn't say something like this. I'd normally go, go with your heart or whatever. It's not going to work this time. Please do not give in to this alpha crap. It's not what Geek and Sundry is about. It's not what the Twitch channel is about. And it's not humans. It's not critters. It's not any of that. It is legendary. It's corporate. All right? I understand this is a really long video, but this is actually the shortest one I've made yet. So, um... Please, uh, if you guys have comments about this or, or feelings about it, put it in the comments below. Um, but uh, this is really important to me. Please, please share this around. Please get the word out. We need to stand up to a nameless corporate or a faceless corporation taking away what we love simply for money. We are not money left on the table. We are a vibrant community that helps and supports each other. And we need to remind them of that. Now, again, I'm not 
saying get mad at Geek and Sundry. I firmly believe they had nothing to do with this. And I firmly believe they fought it until they couldn't. That is my personal belief. Again, I have nothing to support it other than uh, what I know from the uh, members of the casting crew that I've had the chance to meet. I... I've been in their position before. I've seen that look in my own eyes as I've had to spew forth uh, complete crap because that's what corporate told me to do. All right? That's all for me today. Um, I'll see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye.